Hello and welcome to Chicago Land again. We're in the Be Open car this time, doing some Xfinity racing. And uh, it looks like, uh, hopefully, I'm a little bit faster than I was in C Open. C Open was a struggle. So I didn't quite have something. Something was wrong. <laughs> I mean, I made my own mistakes, and uh, I was just off pace to begin with. It seemed like struggling to keep up even with the draft. Don't know what I was missing there, aside from the obvious things that caused me to finish worse. But here, feeling a little bit better. Looks like the high side, well, let me say, I cannot run from the lower side. It's just so loose, I can't quite get it. Maybe that's the best way around, but I'm running the higher line. And, uh, I think it's gonna be fine for me. We got like 90% tape on it right now, I think. On our OSR setup. Put that on there, just uh, qualifying. And it's gonna go back to like 56 or something for the race. So uh, I haven't practiced with the tape on, so that's why I'm actually getting my all time best here. Hopefully, we can prove it better this lap now that the tires are warmer. I think second lap's generally going to be your better one, just because you get it a little bit more grippy. Hopefully this thing doesn't blow before we get there. Oh, I got all loose anyway. So I don't know if I'm even going to have a better lap this time. Probably by like 10 thousandths of a second. So... Uh, the story of my open practice beforehand was I was working real hard to get the top lane down to get it uh, stable, feeling good, uh, I had really good time, and I was fighting to try to get the fastest lap in there. It says it was a fun way to spend your time waiting for the uh, actual race, to see if you can get the fastest time and compare and compete in that way. Um, Watch your wow. speed limit in the pits. I missed my <laughs> slowdown point. Or do that because I was telling the story. But uh, I finally pulled off a good lap. It was like my optimal lap on both one and two and three and four, and I was feeling great about it. And then uh, the number two car comes in and gets a lap that's two tenths faster, just like that. So <laughs> I was like, "Well, I guess I'm not that fast after all." And that was a bummer. But I'm okay with my pace. I know I'm not going to be able to. Uh, Keep up with the fastest of the fast dudes. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperatures are okay. All Feeling okay. Engine temperatures. I'm okay with that lap. You know, uh, I'll be fa uh, facing off against the guys that are about the same. I'm not sure how to go about tire saving because it looks like the rears burn off a little bit faster. I don't want to just full throttle it and kill the tires, but... Uh, well, you don't need to save the right rear or anything more, so maybe I'll uh, have to be a little gentler through the middle of the uh, or the exit of the corner. Maybe to uh, keep the tires a little happier. Maybe that's a way to do it. Something like that, I don't know. Not very good at that part. I think it might be single split, so we might have ourselves some cautions here. I'm not sure. I think about 21 people signed up, so I think this should be single split. Unfortunately, um, it is like midnight or something. 2 a.m. It is actually 2 a.m. So, <laughs> I've lost track of time. I mean, this is kind of my normal, a week schedule anyway, just because I work, uh, not nights, but like late evenings. I'll usually get home at about 12, 11, 12-ish. So, it's normal for me to be awake right now and then kind of sleep in later. That's why I always end up awake at these times. So I'm just glad that we got a, a halfway decent group here. 21 people, so it's a nice full field. And we're not the number one, which is always nice. Even if it means we're going to get our butt kicked. But I think we can finish all right. We'll go for our uh, top 10 here. Hopefully a little bit better than that, but top 10 I won't feel bad about so long as it's a clean race and stuff. But I think with my pace I should be able to the end of the session. P5. 
keep up pretty well. Maybe not with these guys. Well, maybe with this little uh, group here. Make sure. Did I change this back? I did. Okay. So that's that. It's free setup, so I don't have to worry about hiding it or anything. <laughs> free uh, OSR setup. We're starting fifth, which means we're going to be on the bottom to start with. So i got to be really careful. This thing's going to be super go. duper loose to start with. On that low side, it's it's crazy how loose it gets. So now take it easy. Hopefully it'll be a good race. I think it should go a little bit better than our C open race. That was a good race. I just wasn't fast in that one. I think this one we should be a little faster and hopefully it's as green flag racing as that race was. Because there's lots of uh, good green flag racing in that one. That said, uh, this is a lower strength of field. Probably much lower. And this car is much more difficult, I think, to control with how loose it gets lower on the track, which could lead to more spins and more trouble. So we'll have to watch out for that. To watch out around us too, even at the start of this thing, to make sure that no one in front of us is spinning out, and to make sure I'm not spinning out for that matter. Like I said, I'm on the inside here, so I'm going to have to run lower on the track at least off the start here but I'm gonna try to find my way back up to the top where I'm most comfortable 90 laps here should be plenty long enough to uh, hopefully you know get some distance between yeah, everyone great. everyone end up where they're uh, the kind of supposed ride. to be Have a good ride. should be a fun one the is maybe we'll even get some uh, green flag stops again for me to mess up. <laughs> Just got my uh, brake bias at default because I don't think I'm ever going to be using it other than for uh, stopping to do said green flag pit stop. So I know better than to try to lower that this time. Take like a second gear start. And we got a fun uh, Bobby Labonte paint scheme to our right. It's nice. Classic uh, interstate batteries. Very good long time NASCAR sponsor. You guys aren't too crazy off the start and start doing uh, three wide stuff. Yeah, that's shit. Get ready, going, going green. green here soon. Hopefully, we can view the leader pretty well. Okay, the pace car is in. Green, green flag, green flag. I couldn't see the leader. Wow, that's uh. Yellow flag. They want you in single file. Wow. Pit road is closed right now. Let the pace car by. Uh, second place, check clearing himself. Uh. Wow. Talent. Huh. Five oh, second, and then the best. Race cars out. Line up single file behind car well, yeah. um, what? I, that kind of left me speechless. Hey, come on up here, four. I'll let y'all know when the pace car gets to the rear of the field. Hey, car 12, I've got a spot for you back at the back here if you like. Alright, uh, here it comes. Pit roads open. Let's chase car by. Hey, did it? Is it not asking for the leader to wait? Probably not. There's some people that got around it, so we're all going to get the wave around when then one green comes. Great. We got stuck with the glitch. Yeah, boy, I got you. Are we going to get the black flag? Yeah, Dino, get up here. Dean. 
come yeah. yeah wait for the piss car to catch Same up to us because around. we didn't get to the green flag line before the wreck happened it's a long time glitch on iRacing so later we got a shot that full space car passes the thing so now we're gonna have to get the wave around yeah i think i'm just gonna stop on track here let him die so we don't get a black flag yeah, pace cars are up on the back of the leaders there. There it is. We're off to a good start. All right. Be ready when we get okay. one. I'm really worried comes, I was going to end up with a black flag it. there. Should be okay. We'll just get the wave around. And then we'll be back where we were. Yeah, I dropped in behind the leader. And somebody decided they'd rather turn me than lift. That's all that happened there. Uh, uh, you need to go look at the replay. You came right across my nose. I was on the white line and didn't know. But... Yeah, that was done. The guy who just turned down and turned himself Alrighty, for no so reason. Alrighty, so when I restart on the outside line, whoever's on my inside, I'm making a hard left. Please, you must lift. Right. Right. We only got 90 laps to get it done. <laughs> That's what we call fuzzy logic. Sammy, you can't be blaming the dude in third for that. That was all you. You can't just cut across his nose. I didn't think I was. I'll watch the replay. Sorry, boys. Go, 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 go. One left to green. Line up on yeah, the inside. You were not close. We gotta go. We don't have much time. Let's get this sorted out. Wait. We're all waving around here? Friend? How are well you getting the wave around? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, the pace car wanted part of the field to go around. Yeah. I hate the fact I'm using my <laughs> tires. Man, I really caution. Come on. Well, I mean, when you wreck before you take the green flag, it always messes it up. What in the actual fudge is going on? Some guys have never seen this before, I guess. The pace car repassed the cars that didn't pass the green, that didn't take the green flag, so we were, the leader was behind us. So you see, we had to really zoom up because they're about to get started here. Yeah, I'm gonna need new set tires already. Get ready, going green. Car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Uh, <laughs> was that start? I'm still worried I'm gonna get a black flag somehow. Because of all this nonsense. That was an awesome start. Pressure. 36.2. Heat load. Still there. Hold your line. I got a pretty good Heat load. Outside, I'm kind of just speechless right now with how crazy this is. Whoa! Ben. <laughs> that guy said he had the pit end, didn't he? He got a black flag. I, uh, missed that part. Okay, you're in second. You've passed this lap from Pfeiffer. 32.4. You've just done a 32.5. So we're uh, finally up to our high side here. That was we're such a bizarre start. Yeah, you're supposed to let it by the. Bumps on the high side of three and four can be really messy. So I want to try to cut this once in a while, but this car actually gets pretty unsettled down there. So maybe I don't want to make too much of a habit of it. I do like the high side, so. Number two got himself on <laughs> like the world's best jump because of whatever was going on for a second place there. A weird single file start? I have no idea. But the entire field behind us is like miles back. Because they were still trying to catch up. We're currently setting the pace. The guy behind is just oh, shoot! I hit the bump all wrong. Okay, oh my you god. Did you see that just launch me into the wall? That was weird. That didn't happen to me in practice at all. I just hit the bump and it just sent me right. Wild. Alright. Be aware of that, I guess. 
aware of whatever that's happening too. Holy smokes. Step behind him. This has been a weird race so far. This is not how been going how I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, I was talking about the bumps in three and four, and then I went into one and hit a weird bump and sent me in the wrong direction. Eleven at a million miles an hour. Clear inside. Inside. Still there, hold your line. Caution, yellow flag. Line up, single file. Closed, pit road is closed. We're under caution, pits closed. Race cars out. Line up, single file, behind car number 10. 16.7 gallons. 16.3. It's too early for uh, If anyone has down. any question whatsoever about that wreck, it was all a 21. Michael Grimmett. Oh boy. You can't blame Grimmett. I don't believe you. Pete Rhodes open. Not at all. He just came off the wall, door slammed the car in front of him, or beside him, and. Huh. I could have deleted you, but otherwise I don't think I need to. He was down in the infield. I thought he could keep it down there, and all of a sudden he come out, come straight up the track. 21 came off the wall with an absolutely fucking door slammed. Whoever was below him, and like sent him to the fucking garage. Right. All right, I guess we're coming too. Pit lane speed oh yeah, I'm saying, after the wreck, he spun out into the infield, again. then all of a sudden he come back up on the track and hit another car. Box in, a five, four, three, two, one, box now. Well, that's right, a little slow on entry, but we're fine. 3.6 from our wall touch, that's not going to be affecting us all that much anyway, and we might get most of it done anyway. Is that what happened to talk to us? All clear, punch it. Hmm, I could have revved up a little bit more. They want you in single file. Imagine we'll have some people staying out. I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. 97.96. What a stop you had there, Charles. You got a nice uh, handful of people. Well, you guys aren't going to have to worry about me anymore. I was the one on the okay, bottom when that guy came down. Stop. Alright, uh, Sammy, was it a line or what? Did you not come off the wall? I think the incidents are going to be very interesting to watch at the end of this one because it sounds like some weird stuff's going on. You now we had some pit accident. Oh, I got murdered. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, you can see that on the replay too. Yeah, I'm going to watch the start again. To be honest, I don't. I've never run these before, like at all. I don't know how I qualified on the front. I think I just wasn't ready for the start. So, I think it was Derek that was behind me. Sorry again. Yeah, that's the guy who acknowledges that it was yeah, Sammy, man, they're probably, probably his fault. Right now, I didn't I get the best view of it. Up, of stuff, it like did look it. like he turned down on the guy. And it's kind of hard because when you first start the race, the spotter kind of like takes a second to up, kick in, so maybe he just didn't know that he wasn't clear. Recently, you should try it again because the new cars way better since they did the update. Yeah, when I was running on the river, it was kind of just wide open. They had tons of... Wow, I was to Yeah, since the update, they're pretty much just like these Xfinity cars, so they're one of the better driver-friendly cars. Cool, I'll check them out. I didn't expect that, man. I, I wasn't locking them. This is a driver-friendly car? Yeah, I mean... You can't put three people in them and they run exactly the same. It's up to the driver a little bit. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. Like, it's a driver's car. I guess listen to that conversation. I mean, I don't have much else to say during caution. Hopefully, it goes green to the end, though. Car. I feel like we could get a long run, potentially. Yeah, I understand. I was like, driver friendly, shit. Yeah, I think 
they was thinking of what I was talking about. Line up on the next car. Line car was locked. Yeah, you didn't like it before. Trying to get into. So we're not too far back. Uh, we had a couple people stay out. Yeah. But uh, you know, the leaders in front of us went. So felt like I was okay to do so. We had we had plenty of tires to use up. So I mean, not plenty, but enough tires to use up that. Nothing like that now. This goes green for a long time, then nope. I'm going to be You're missing those a couple of percent. So, we'll take oh, them. Me, I used to think that too, but since they did that update, um, they're growing on me now. Oh, yeah. My favorite part, my favorite part is the snap loose out of nowhere. It's great. <laughs> nope, still pretty much a big gold piece of garbage. Joke. Talking about the horrible next gen car. I that, refuse to that's race that. The rear diffuser, you know, I'll watch other people air, do it. Not sucking you down anymore. So but, uh, I bit watch and, uh, Gavin and a bit Nick race it. I am not participating in myself. Does not look cool. like it's very fun. Well, I'll tell you right now. If you're trying to run a setup from before the update on now, yeah, it's going. It's go going, guys. It's what are we doing? But, Oh my god, 19 spinning his tires? What's going on here? Jesus, what is going on? What is this 19 doing? Thank you, uh, Philip, for not going in the restart. I got all. Yeah, thank you. What on earth? Yeah, one motherfucking race without some dumb shit getting into me. What is going on in this race? Not one fucking race. What is that guy doing? What is this? Kind of got up in so what is happening? Or two, dumb. Oh, oh my god. One. What you want to say? Get away from me. This is such a freaking mess. Y'all are yeah. fucking smart. <laughs> The guy's like, oh, you're all smart. The guy that's getting loose and wrecking in front of me. Get off the mic, wide, maybe, and drive your car. We're already free wide, and you're trying to get to my outside, then caught the wall. Oh, my God. What on earth? It's kind of what I was just thinking, but... I'm just Can I race now, please? Jeez. Oh, no, I can't. This guy's already wrecking in front of us now. Break, you stupid fuck. What on earth? I think the 19 started in fourth gear or How something. How the hell does the guy that's in front of you get into you? You got into him. I don't even know what they're arguing about at this point. Yeah, There's so much nonsense is going on. Oh boy. Then you just fucking swing on the Oh my god. Oh, well, this race is not going as well as I hope. I got freaking rear end of the restart and then thrown into the infield two laps in a row. Can we get can we get a yes the yikes? Well, the same dude that's just calling me a dumbass is talking like like slams on the brakes right in the middle of the corner. He's right in front of me. We're under caution. It's closed. Hey, let's uh, you know, let's watch the replay after the race. It'd be interesting to see what actually happened. It's a 17 car. Can I even apologize for getting into him? It wasn't even my fault. Mm -hmm. uh, he tried to go on my outside before that, Jason. That's the worst. Like checking up on the back stretch. Pete Rowdy, now I didn't see it coming until it was too late, you know. I, I mean, uh, this has been absolutely bonkers. This <laughs> the start of this race. Just get along. I mean, every restart has been something about, weird going on. We can hear him getting stepped over. I know I've run a thousand races with Daniel and Matt, uh, a bunch of them, never heard them having this much conversation. I've raced you a few times too, Robert. A couple of guys that didn't yeah, get before yeah, I there's a bunch in. of us in here that used to race a lot. What, uh, what do you mean this much conversation? Point nine gallons. 11.5 gallons. Still not make we used to not have there. very many problems. Uh, yeah, no, that is. Oh, we like to talk. Let us six carbide. We have border pacing. Yeah, 
it just kind of brings you out of you when you got one guy calling everybody a dumbass when he's the one that caused everything. I thought he was hollering at me. Somebody drove right in my door. And, uh, hell, I thought they hollered at me, but they didn't say nothing else. I can't believe we made it through all that nonsense. There was like six hey, different still trying to talk death me. events <laughs> happening. No. That whole restart with people spinning on in front of me, next to Definitely me. Boys, guys not going on the start. Guys going on the start behind me. I can't believe I didn't get run over. Like, that was just such a huge mess. No, what you need... We've somehow found our no, way back to seven. No, what you need to do is get back in the car and then talk so everybody can hear you. <sighs> I am in the goddamn car. Do you want to go watch the fucking replay? Closed. Pit road is closed. Out. All right, driver, now you're back in the car. Now where it says transmitting on your screen, it says on drivers. When you're not in the car, it's transmitting on all teams. That means everyone can't hear you when they're not in the car. I don't need to watch the replay, dude. I know what happened. Uh, obviously you do, because you've not seen shit. So, the 15 came up into me because he was slower. Uh -huh. And that's pretty much it. No. No. No, I'm talking about, like, off that restart, we were already three wide, and you come around me, and I ended up coming up into you. I even apologized for it, but you're the one that fucking blasted around there, you know, so I appreciate you calling me a dumbass. <laughs> That's right. Well, I mean, when you can't hold a line, and everybody's going, and you're hitting the brakes, I don't know what to call you. I like the hold line. Really, really long ones. Yeah, like, then we got my inside door, and then Next time right I after that, I think we got my outside door. I think that oh, was boy, this fault. race. Everyone's mad. I'm going to be making even worse nobody. decisions, I bet, because they're tilted. <laughs> now we're taking lane four. Huh? That's fucking awesome. I mean, it's kind of a racing thing. I just don't appreciate being called a dumbass when, like, and telling me I can't hold a line when I got fucking two guys on the inside of me kind of pushing me up there, and then here you come fucking swinging around the outside, and I'm the dumbass. I, I guess that makes sense. Jason, shake it off, dude. We got 70 more laps. I know. You still got yeah. so much race left. Yeah, I mean, take being a dumbass. I mean, shit, it ain't that hard. And 13 more cars. Take it off, man. Big Taylor Swift fan over here. Hell yeah. Thought it? Yeah, just call yourself a dumbass and be done with it. I mean, fuck. That's all you gotta do. I hope they stop talking when it's time to race. My is our face maxed out. So, hell, I mean, everybody, something happens to somebody every time. Or some time or another, but sorry. Are we gonna hit the gas this time? I love how shit changes after five minutes. These restarts have been bad every time. Yeah, I guess we'll what on earth? <laughs> what is going on? Obviously, while I'm in pitch, y'all are going fucking off. Because the goddamn yellow is back in. Yeah. The guys at the back were too eager. What is this race? Do you guys not know how to do a restart or what? Well, we got 12 more restarts now. I remember my first restart. <laughs> I want to race, guys. Can we go in a straight line at least? Yeah, I'm not waiting. I, mean, I know it's a trial, but it's a little more Dumb difficult. But... Motherfuckers that don't want to drive, just watch the fucking replay. That's all you gotta do. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> I can't hear that. it. Please. It's bad enough I'm stuck pacing, man. I have to listen to all this. I don't actually have to, but it's actually kind Even of entertaining to like so. But, but, I mean, whatever. Do you want to see what actually happened? Watch the replay. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Oh, the incidents are gonna be fun, though. He didn't team that. Come on now. 
Uh, yeah, that, that's exactly right. Sorry. 17. Right. I think everybody's moved on. I'm gonna excuse you, so, uh, yeah. How did they even get a caution back? Jason, I'm sorry. My fucking engine blew right in front of you. Sorry. Really didn't mean it. 10.6. Oh, you're talking points. about how dumb everybody is, and that was you that caused it. My bad. <laughs> Everyone's mad at each other. Who would have guessed? <laughs> no, that actually happened during the caution that the fucking 15 called, so... Go ahead and keep talking your shit, you stupid fucks. Wait, wait, who's in the race and who's not? Hey. It's the thing, yeah. I guarantee I've caused several accidents. I, you hadn't heard me sitting here and bitching. Oh, I can cause a hell of a lot more if you keep talking shit. I mean, huh, fuck. That's what I'm saying, I've heard nobody talking shit. You've not been listening, and hey. It's are open. Huh. You like boobies? <laughs> and everyone queuing up and not saying anything. What's <coughs> 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 happening? Hello, kitties are cracked. Out. Pits are closed. Oh. No, you can get cracked. Where at? You like to see how I'm over naked? This is the weirdest race. Oh, I, I tell you what, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Have you seen my baseball? You guys like Berger? Anybody, anybody like a little bit of Berger around here? 10.4 gallons. No shit for real though. 15 calls that. 11 my... Oh my god, during, stop talking about it, please. During that caution, my fucking engine blew right in front of the... If the three would shut the fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> They're unblocking that guy from talking by queuing up their mics. <laughs> oh, that's grand. Lock into the boss, right? One left to green. Line up on the end side. Get the Both my hands are blue right in front of the 11. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my god. Do I even remember how to race? It's been like a century. <sighs> Late night, must be like a full moon or something. People are losing their minds. Eighteen, you're up high. The eighteen up in front of me. Alright, let's race maybe. Word. I hate for a goddamn right or by fucking right tar. Everyone's working together. You know, shut stop the talking. fuck up. You learned to suck your goddamn dick. You want to? About to go green. You learned how to? Good party trick. Can we have a normal restart, please? I'll open that. I'd carry it off. Green, green. Hey, Just a jump because they got blocked. Let me see. Have a good one. Yeah, that took a dick. Oh my god, caution down. Oh cool. Inside. Man, this sure is fun when I get the race. We just do it a little more often. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Hell yeah! Clear inside. Why is the shit up though? 
You're back in fourth position. Can I stop wrecking? Do you realize how long this race is? Come on, Seven. You can't be patient. Didn't you see me getting blocked down the back stretch? Soft. I mean, I'm probably overdriving, but... The Nick car's the leader. What the fuck are you doing, Hey, Brake check on the fucking corner, you dumbass. Keep low. This morning, you just about caused a wreck. And you caused two of us to crash. It's called not burning up your shit in the corner and letting off the gas. Oh, we turn it on to each other now? Oh, shit. Yeah, they're probably done, though. Uh, Steven, nobody can hear you when we're under green. You have to be in all teams when we're under green. Oh, my God. Please listen to him. Back in third. Keep hustling. Dan, I see you're making friends. Yeah, this guy just wants to block me and race like an asshole. I've done nothing to him. You talking about the 20? Yeah, I'd block too if I was that slow. He's on original tires, and I had a huge run on him for the lead, and he just cut my nose off, and I got ran over. I'm burning my tires off, but something tells me I'm not going to have to worry about a long green run anyway. I'm just, I'm running up here either way, it doesn't matter. I'll burn my tires off, I just, I don't, you know, I don't even care. It's point. The next car's the leader. Inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Hey. Clear. What's the high side. The car's the leader. Lower. <sighs> it's fine. Well, shit. Rub my thumb and tap me on top of the hill. Call me, bitch. All right, Colton. That's good. Way old. What do you say? What do you say on me? I hate that. Maybe I will try to save tires. Just follow his line here. I mean, we're, we're driving away from the guys behind, so I don't. I kind of don't mind just staying in his draft. I can't wait to see who else we blame. There'll be 40 stories before we get done. Gen A. Alright, if anyone hasn't muted the Stephen Hale guy yet, all you gotta do is when he's talking or just go on your standings, right click on his name and click mute and then I'll mute him. Good advice. If you don't know that, yeah, you ain't been here long enough. Wish it wasn't so difficult to do. Apparently, he likes it. Hearing me talk, or he wouldn't already be hearing me. I wouldn't mind the impression so much if it were a good impression. Outside, keep digging. Outside, clear. Time was at 31.7. Learn to hold a goddamn line, buddy. Learn to raise. I mean, they have a fucking link in there. There we go. Got him. Found the chance to do it. Straight away. I use my mouse, so it's like difficult. Hopefully, he never says anything important, but it doesn't seem like it's happening so far. So, all right, tires are starting to uh, catch up to me. It's fine. I kind of expected it to be this way. Man, he's still going. Nine point seven gallons. Nine point seven gallons. 
not even within the fuel window yet. P2. Are we not? I feel like we should be close, right? We're pretty close, I think. That was at 31.7. For how much damage do you have? It was uh, 28 seconds on the right front. It's all fixed now, though. But I've lost a lot of straight lines. Oh, it's so nice to actually have a green plug around. Hey, does the top still feel your tires just from the lack of rubber? You mean the lack of forces, or the more forces that are up there because you're going faster? Yes. Hey. I mean, you're essentially exerting more forces on the tires through the corner up there. Yeah, I got you, Matt. Keep wow, that bump just totally killed my turn. I was like, that guy had the same problem I did earlier in the race, where I hit the bump on entry. Like, literally, just skipped into the wall. That happened to me earlier. Was it in turn one? Yeah. I think the same exact thing happened to me earlier. It shocked me. I didn't expect it to launch me right in the wall. Man. I'm not gonna race side by side with the one. I'm just gonna follow him, use his draft. If we get second, then who cares? Second place. And if we keep up with him, maybe we'll be fine. Yeah, you're the only one I've made that's never caused an accident, period. But I'm not many. You've just done a 32.0. I'm using the seam a little bit. It seems to be helping a bit. Yeah, <laughs> the seam seems clean. to be helping. I we're not falling off too bad. Oh my god, he's gone. Thank you. That guy is so cool. <laughs> Good setup, OSR. The truck setup wasn't uh, maybe quite up to par, but this one's pretty darn good. I like this one. Thank god, he's gone. Oh, I took that turn. That was bad on the tires. That was real bad. Oh, this is nice. Just follow the guy. I don't even happen to try to pass him. Just enjoy the fact that we're gapping the guy in third. I don't know if I would even be able to if I tried to pass him, but... I'm not going to try. No need to. The lower line is kind of coming in. Early in the run, it's just way too loose, but now it's kind of a way to actually get the car turning a little better. We're halfway through. We think about 22 laps remaining on this tank. That lap was a 32.2. Then we're getting tighter. 9.3 gallons. Look for gallons. Probably within the fuel window now. He's going to pit when this guy pits. In the right. Tires are starting to hurt me a little bit, but still not dropping us off too bad. The 
lap time was 32.4. Tight. I'm worried about uh, another caution, to be honest. So if we pit and go up down, we're in trouble. This caution comes out, so. Do we think that. Oh, no! I don't throw that. Well, they kept it off the wall. Nine gallons. Nine gallons. Okay, what time was that? It's in the fuel window, it looks like. Way too low there. Getting in here. Watch your speed. Mess up the corner, go ahead and take your pit stop. Get a little extra fuel just in case we get the uh, green white checkered. Box in. Five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Why not, I guess. Alright, here comes the caution. Ruin my day. That's it, go. Take care. This thing's really loose on the apron too when you're getting up to speed, so you gotta be really careful. It's not very much banking on this apron. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. We'll see how this works out. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 80. We uh, get it green to the end, we think we're gonna enjoy ourselves. But uh, if not, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. When you get here, just let me know where you want to go. I know you got push tires. You got other guys that have pit in. Okay, Colton, we're in the lucky dog position. Let's push hard to keep. Okay, we are in the lucky dog position. That's good news. So even if there's a caution, soon we might be okay. Took that corner really bad, and I kind of just decided, you know what, let's just come in. <laughs> Navigate these guys. Your water temperature's creeping up. Cut the car outside. We're on the inside. Clear. Keith. Patient. Cut the car outside. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. Clear up top. Outside. Loose down here. Clear. Not where I prefer to be, but it seems like that's where they were going to let you buy. Here's where we were on the track. Is dry now. That was a 31.0. It's fine, you got loads. P11. Get on fuel. Plane he's gonna take, he's been taking the higher lane, right? Inside. Clear inside. That's good. Thank you, Dirk. No okay, problem, Dirk. Car in front. The gap's now 8.9 seconds. But that was at 31.0. Okay, 
Car outside. Keep low. Outside, clear. I might feel pretty good about uh, coming a little early. That line was at 31.3. No crew chief, but go high here, Colton. Thanks, man. We got loose. Pfeiffer is now in the lead. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> he got loose. Let me by. And I'd be like spawn himself. That's awkward. My bad, <laughs> I guess. I didn't do it. He chose the low line. He could have said go low. I wanted. Interesting. I almost hit that bump again. It did the same thing. Gonna cycle out here. Does the car leave in the pit lane? Now we're gonna see where we kind of cycle out. See if uh, we have a good pit cycle or a bad one. Ideally, we'd be coming out first once everyone pits, but. Sure, where he was gonna be for a second. Clear. Go on in, you do. Yeah, so am I. Where are my tires at? So many fours, so many. Oh, wow, I thought the rear was gonna burn off more. Okay, that's curious. Sorry, Ma, I was reading the draw behind him, kind of got it right up. So we're back to sixth as people are starting to pit. Some more guys who are on pit road. Get back in pit. Real test is going to be to see where uh, the guy we were racing comes out. Second, and by a good margin. Did I make a smart strategy play? I don't know, who's in first? The pit yet? I don't think that Scott Bailey guy's had yeah, a good race. Yeah. Got people messing up their pit entries? So that's what happened? Beating, maybe? I didn't check the brake bias on the car, and yeah, I messed up. Oh my gosh, they're doing what I did in the truck race! I just you broke where I break the truck and I wasn't even close to making it. That's why I just drove past it. He drove past his stall. Everyone's messing up pit. their pit cycle. Did y'all get black? It's like yeah, retribution for my awful truck race. Now the other guys are the ones that are uh, messing up. Clear high. Is the car getting weird on the apron down there? I'll jump out. I'll jump below you on the back. This first. might be good. You might be in good shape here. Thank you. I don't think that 13's pit yet. The way he's dropping, I don't think he has. We are like 12 seconds ahead of second place. Okay, Pick hold up. I mean, this is reminding me of uh, Gavin's yeah, hosted race at Nashville Super Speedway where the undercut worked really well. 
It wasn't even much of an undercut in that race, but it worked. I think even if this guy's like somehow trying to stretch it on fuel, I think we're still going to catch him. I think the biggest thing we have to worry about now is the tire's completely falling Thank off. You. I don't think they're going to fall off bad enough. Just got to not make mistakes. I say, and turning at a bad angle. How often does that happen? Where I just say, like, oh, don't make a mistake, or don't do this, don't do that, and then it immediately happens. Must be like my brain thinking something and then doing it. <laughs> I have to remember they've got better tires too, though. Maybe he is going to catch me. I gotta not get a big head. I gotta keep okay, driving. Hard, Slow car down low. Go what? high. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. That was quite the pit entry. The lead is pitting now. You're in third. That's why you practice that. <laughs> God. You're now in the lead. I just someone did that in real life. The car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Please drive away with your good tires. I am the leader. Yeah, it's nice getting a little bit of respect as the leader, you know, like, oh, he's the leader, you gotta give him room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's catching me fast. This might not be as good of a... Not as, uh... Much of a done deal as I thought. Yeah, he's catching really fast. Oh, well. See what we can get. Just gonna keep running my preferred line. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Sideways there. It's interesting. I was usually tight, and then all of a sudden it got kind of sideways. I need his tires to even out. Really bad. You know, I should have thought about the fact that a lot of the early laps were under caution. Makes the undercut less of a good option. Should have thought about that. I just knocked the wall down out of four for some reason. Hmm. Well, if we do get a caution. We have another set of tires we can put on there. Not into the world. Well, I don't think he did a good enough job because it's still standing. That lap time was 32.4. It's getting closer. The gap's now 3.10. It's kind of good. I mean, even if I am slow. You're leading. Your last lap time was at 32.4. Gonna catch us. I think we might be okay. Um, so it looks like there's some distance behind him, so we might still be okay for our second place. It's not gonna be. Just done a stay hard up. Car out. Car in a bay. Thanks for trying. <laughs> it was a little bit late for me to react. Yeah, it's the end four. I'm kind of distracted here. I'm going full off in the last two. Don't stop on the apron. I'm going to do some donuts on the back stretch there, Matt. 
Yeah, put it out. Good consistency. Keep it no, up. No, don't put it out. I don't care if I finish second. I want to finish. Put it out. I'm staying out. Without dying. Don't put it out. Kosha, it's getting closer. The gap's now 1.4. Good luck. Uh, good to see you guys. Y'all have a good one. Have a good one, Bob. 2.6. What the hell happened, Bob? What happened to me? I undercut and uh, I'm not good at saving tires. <laughs> Give me that first one there. I didn't think there was any way possible in this entire road that freaking I'd be able to catch up. Yeah, I was I was uh, benefiting from your draft a lot. I think earlier too. I'm okay if I finish second or whatever. It's fine. Yeah, but there ain't that much draft in this. I was well driver. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Let's see if we can use some more of that draft. So now the battle is to keep our runner up. See what happens. Not pretty off pace, but we'll see. ahead is increasing. It's now 0.9. I'm kind of looking at the times behind. I think we should be okay. As long as we don't fall off any harder. It's not even really tight anymore, it's just slow. It's just slower now. Because I think the, uh, both right front and right rear are worn. Great job, good to go. <laughs> the lap time was at 32.6. Getting weirdly sideways. I thought the guy up there was on the wall. B2. The gap to Kosha ahead is now 2.2. I guess I could have tried to save tires better. Maybe I would have been able to keep it up there, but... I don't know. The last lap was at 32.6. I do think I was just keeping up earlier in the race. I'll go high after this corner. From uh, having draft, I think that was a big part of it. I'm just glad we're uh, hopefully going to make it to the end of this one after how crazy it was off the start. The lock time was 32.7. What in the world? It's not a caution. Just... Presumably the guy behind us has fresh tires, so he should be going around us right now. Inside. Still there. Clear inside. Okay. Didn't lose uh, really any time doing that. I 
a little bit of draft help me stay in second. Uh, second just fine as long as I keep it uh, Ahead is now keep it clean. Lap times are pretty consistent. Five left to go. That lap was a 32.6. It's going down. It's a little sunset going on as I rift through the corner. Pretty moody. I feel like I'm going into the corner and uh, I don't know quite exactly how it's going to react to it each time. Sometimes it's pretty loose, sometimes it decides it's not going to turn at all. It's because both of the right sides are angry. That lap time was 32.8. Where are you going to end up? Pressure. Ahead is increasing. It's now 1.6 seconds. Wait, for a second he was going to drift up in there. Clear inside. Looks like a pretty good race though. Two legs to go. You're in two to go. Ahead of some guys I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Considering I'm the number four. Keep it together. Sounds we'll like they had some pit podium. problems. Might have been a way to win this, but uh, I couldn't figure it out, I guess. I'm not going to feel too bad about it. I'm just glad we don't have to deal with a green, white, checkered, or any nonsense like that, because we got the white flag now. Just got to bring it around one more time. Easier said than done. Cars are gonna try to kill me. The gap to Prussia is now four point nine seconds. Thank you, Goodrich. Make a job, Matt. Take it away, Matt. There we go. We're on the podium. Good drive. Yeah, it was good, man. It was fun. Chicken flag, chicken flag. I tried flag. to. I tried to tell Larson in right there, but uh, guy into the wall a little too aggressive. Good win. This one started kind of weird, but ended up being a pretty good race. It was fun. Alright. Stop. Not bad for a bunch of dumb asses. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. P2. Starting fifth. Not good race, guys. Fifty forty four. So let the rears did go more when I ran the high side. That's interesting. Then again, I guess the fronts also went more. Interesting. I wonder if I just were a little more careful on the high side. Maybe the middle. Excuse me. Middle would have been something. That that always kind of felt the worst to me though, running the middle. I don't know. Not sure. I will say that whole like second half of the race, I really wasn't even trying to save tires at all. I was just going. <laughs> For better or worse, I was just having fun. And we still got our second place out of it, so I'm not too uh, sore about it.
Let's uh, see incidents. I'm sure it's very interesting at the start here. Yeah, what's well, uh, <laughs> immediately? Yeah, the guy just turns down on him. I mean, there's, it's really not even a debate. Like, I don't know what he's doing here. Just turns down. I don't know. It's pretty blatant. I guess it's kind of like that, like I was saying, like we don't have the spotter out off the start sometimes. So maybe he just thought he was clear, but it wasn't even really that close. He's got a whole tire up next to him there. I've got it all weird. Gonna get some wall here, just a tiny bit. What's that? What are we doing? Was he loose? It didn't even look like he was loose. What? Huh? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. It doesn't even look like he's loose. It looks like he just drives down there. Let's see his wheel. No, look, he's turning left. His wheel is broken, maybe? Yeah, look, it's, he must have some technical failure. Because look, he's just staying turning left. His wheel, like, broke or something. Interesting. I must see this from the cockpit. Oh, yeah, this is me hitting the bump into the wall. That's a weird thing that happened. That didn't happen to me at all in practice, but I hit the bump just a super weird way. Look at that. It just sent me to the right. Bump, and then uh, cards to the right one. Hmm. Yeah, I was not expecting it to hit that way. I just hit it exactly the wrong way, and it sent me up there. At least I wasn't the only one. It sounded like the other guy had that problem. I guess we'll see that later. Potentially, if he hit it hard enough. 21 turns down, and it's the 12. Oh, couldn't keep it down there. I tried to save it. I think you gotta just, if you're down there like that, there's no saving it. You're already going through the grass, so you might as well just hard left. But he's still trying to save it, and then he ends up in the middle of the track, and it's not doing anyone any good. That presumably was a caution. Nine got the worst end of that deal, because he made no mistakes. I mean, 12 didn't either, I guess, but... Oh yeah, this is the 19 not going. Sorry I got in the 2, but Jesus. I forgot that I got into the 2. I would have apologized if I had remembered. I was just caught up on what's happening. The 19. You can hear right now he's in 4th gear. From the tone of the uh, engine. He's in 4th gear, he just forgot the shift to the lower gears. And then, like, here, I'm like, what I'm seeing. I'm like, I'm not even seeing why we're so slow, and I'm expecting us to go. And then I'm like, okay, well, he's going now. And then he stops again. And you can pass on the right once the green comes out. So I don't know why he checked up again when he could be going around him like that. Oh, you back. And then, like, I really had nowhere to go, because the two's still going slow, for whatever reason. Like, I guess he doesn't know the rules. He doesn't know he's allowed to, uh, pass on the right. You'd think that number two would know, but you can pass right now. He doesn't have to check up again. And so I'm following him, and I'm like, what are you checking up for? And then I have to look down low. There's people flying by on the right side, and then this guy almost misses the corner going two miles an hour. I don't even know how you manage that. Look at all these spots we lose. I guess it doesn't matter in the end, but... Man, that was awful. We just got stuck behind... Real bad collection of deals there. So what's going on? 15's running lane one and a half, first of all. Like, pick a lane. 
second, like, this is why this happens. Like, this is why you don't run, run there, because this guy, because two's not going to know where you're going to be. So he's presuming, like, okay, he's second lane, so he's going to even out and go to the top up there. And then he kind of does, but then comes back down. Well, that's on the 15. You know, lots of people were arguing and all that, but I don't know who was arguing about what or whatever. Okay. Oh, there's me getting stuck behind everything, old, like always. Forgot I was behind all this. So that happens, and I'm like, what is going on in this race? And then I don't even know. Like, they're on lane one and a half. Blue car, though, should give more room. There's no reason not to give more room. I mean, you're going to have to be on the outside here if you want the optimal angle in the corner anyway, so you might as well get up there. So I don't know why he's holding lane two and a half. Again, if you guys pick lanes, <laughs> then we'll be just fine. I don't have to live for this again. I'm losing all this time. Something's spinning. Almost up in my face. <laughs> Good lord. He's going up and hitting the wall. This is all out of sorts. Dean's up into the wall. It's got, it was so messy for a minute there. Like, so many, so much nonsense was going on. Oh, and he blew his engine. That's what he was talking about when he said he blew his engine. How did he blow his engine? Sounds like he shifts. How did he do that? And why? Sounds like he accidentally shifts into dirt or something. And no, you don't do that though. If you blow your engine, hold the line still. Like I know the instinct is like get on the apron and get out of people's way, but no. Nah. Cut across the track like that. So the 17's at fault there. As much as he wanted to repeatedly tell everyone that other people were hitting him. Nah, you gotta be pre predictable. That's the key. Oh my god. So this is what happened here. I don't know why the 14's all the way back. Like he's gonna jump the start or something. Two jumps early, though. Like... Maybe he's frustrated because the 14's all the way back, but the two is going whenever the leader's... Well, I guess he did go right then. 14 didn't see it. Is 14 in fourth gear too? I gotta I gotta listen. Yep, 14's in fourth gear too. It's contagious, I guess. Yeah, the poor two got stuck behind multiple people who Left it in fourth gear. I guess there were a lot of distracting arguments happening during caution laps, and maybe that's why they were forgetting. Man, it's time to go, and I mean, the two doesn't try to go around him or anything. But I mean, what are you supposed to do if the guy in front of you doesn't go? I mean, you're supposed to go around the outside, but he's not in a position where he can because he's down here trying to see the leader. Like, 14's gotta pay attention, he's gotta be aware of what is going on here. And yet another instant caution. Getting caught up in it. Oh boy. What a mess. He's getting in a wall up there and running into 13. I think I was behind that too. Wasn't I right behind this? Yeah. So I'm trying to make up some space. It's been a caution fest to up to this point. So I'm like... What's the point of saving tires if we're just going to get another yellow? So I'm just like trying to get my track position. That guy runs in there and thankfully he doesn't overcorrect it and come up and kill us. I gave it every little inch of room just in case. And suddenly we're in fourth. We're on the straightaway. That 
Goku saying that he hit the wall and he didn't. Oof. Hits in there a little hard. Oh no, this is what the, he was talking about. He hit the bump. That's what happened to me. You see what happens? He's all um, out of sorts right there. Like he's at a fine angle and he gets out of sorts and then it's not turning anymore. That's exactly what happened to me. So yeah, at least I wasn't the only one. I never used to this track before, too, and that that particular thing I don't think has happened to me before. 18 falls to 20 into the wall hard. That's why you don't just watch the guy in front of you, you gotta watch where you are in the corner so you don't follow a guy into the wrong place. Like texting and driving or something, it's weaving all around. That's a major dent in the back end of this guy. He's pretty fast, too. I think if he didn't get all wrecked up, he probably could have been a contender up front. Lots of guys uh, got all beat up this race. Let's get off the gas hard in order not to hit the wall. Have you ever seen that? Maybe the tires are hitting a bad point on them. Skip a little bit through since apparently we are starting to see guys that are uh, losing tires or maybe just barely hitting the wall. Oh, this is the guy. This is the guy that pits from the middle lane and just stops. That was, uh, I mean, who am I to judge whenever I have so many troubles getting on pit lane half the time, but that's pretty extreme. It just isn't turning at all for him. Oh, weird. He gets it there, though. Not particularly quickly, but he got it there. Ooh, 15 got loose and then ended up going straight into the wall. Let's go ahead, these guys just hit the wall. Something in here. 18 in the wall and then they. Ooh, almost found each other. If this 18 and 19, I think they might be related or something. It's got the same name, but they're both having some trouble in this race. Car getting tight. My car getting tight. This is probably just a tire update though, because I don't think I hit the wall at this point in the race. 19 cutting off, who I assume is probably a lead lap car. Yeah, the number four. I think I heard the number four complain about this on Mike. Just cuts in front of him like that's frustrating. Tires continuing to yell at me. Oh, this is where the, the five tried to Kyle Larson, and he said, referring to when Kyle Larson just full throttled against the wall at Darlington last year, when he was in second place, and it was like a last ditch effort. I'm not sure how well that works on a mile and a half, but he went for it. I guess you can't say he didn't try. He doesn't lose any spots from it, though. I mean, that's that. <laughs> and that's the end of the race. So that was, those were all the incidents. Long incident report, lots of wall hits mostly. But the first half of the race is pretty interesting. And we got ourselves our P2, so... Alright, feeling pretty good about that. Uh, it was a fun race, I love Chicagoland. Went so much better than C Open did on pace. I don't know what I was doing wrong in the truck race but I didn't have it but this race I felt a lot better maybe could have gotten the win if I had done things a little bit differently but that's easy to say in retrospect um I think maybe I just pit a little bit too soon maybe the undercut would have worked but I think I pit maybe a little bit too soon um because I guess I didn't think about how the early laps are a lot of caution laps so it wasn't really halfway through the race should have thought about that but I mean, we still got ourselves a P2, which I'm very happy with. So I will, uh, I'll take that and I'll take the zero X after a race where, uh, we definitely could have gotten wrecked out or something. So good stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.